What's up guys, welcome back to another edition of Toothpicks. We're gonna to be doing something fun and new today. We're gonna to be doing some stuffed jalapeno poppers with boudin and guess what? Delicious lump crab meat straight from Gulf Runner Seafood. This is gonna turn out great, so stay tuned. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. So of course, you're gonna need your jalapeno pepper, medium-sized ones. Don't get them too big, or you know your bacon will come unwrapped. What I'm gonna be using today is from Gulf Runner Seafood. I'm using some boudin right here. And I only use maybe about a quarter cup of it. Once you take the casing out, and then put it in a cup and measure it, or you can use however much you want. You can add a little more, add a little less. Of course, you're gonna be needing some thick cut bacon, so I'm using ripe um, applewood bacon for that. Some softened cream cheese, okay? And for seasonings today, now I'm gonna chose to use for about two tablespoons of holy voodoo inside the mixture. And just to top it off, cause it's got a little sweetness in it and it's not too hot, um, just gonna put that on, sprinkle this on the bacon. This is honey hog hot barbecue. And of course, you're gonna need some lump crab meat. So I have some lump crab meat straight from Gulf Runner Seafood that they supply today. And for utensils, good sharp knife and a core. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here as you come in and see. I'm gonna show you how, how I do these and I've already done some already just to kill time. And as you can see right here, this is what your mixture is gonna look like once you're done. All that lump crab meat and boudin mixed with cream cheese and seasoning up right there. Now it looks like I have a little more to extra, so you can just freeze that when you wanna use it for next time. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut this, cut the top off, okay? Now, you wanna take your core, put it in there, and you wanna kinda of start at the beginning, go around, be careful not to crack your pepper all the way on the sides, and just go deeper. It should loosen itself up. Now guys, you wanna have gloves with these, because sometimes I've done it before is rub my face after dealing with peppers. And man, I'm talking about burning. It is not fun. All right, so you choose a little, leave a little peppers in there, a little seeds in there. That's what makes the pepper hot. But we don't want it too hot, so I'm taking all that out. Take your knife, okay? Grow across the middle and just cut down. Cut that thing in half. So you got a little more seeds in there. I don't want them too hot, so let me take some of those out, okay? Now that's optional. Now the next thing you want to do, take your little lump crab meat. About this is about a tablespoon, okay. Take your pepper, put it on there, and kind of smash it in there, just like that. That's one. We're gonna do another one, and some might use a little bit less than others, but just get you a good amount in. Just like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this bacon, and it's already been stretched out a little bit, and I'm just gonna cut it in half. Just like that. What I like to do is put one in, and kind of go diagonal on top, hold it with my thumb, and come across the top of the middle, and just wrap it like that. That way, this piece won't pop out as much. And I'm gonna set that one right on the rack that I already have. I'm gonna be using that. Take my other piece, do the same thing. Put that piece on top, go around, try to put that bottom piece on the bottom right there, okay? Put that on your rack. Now I've placed these on a rack, okay? I'm gonna take one glove off just so I can touch my condiments. I placed them on a the rack for this because excuse my fumbling of the words, I wanna be putting this on the grill just like that. It makes it easier to take off, okay? All you wanna do now is take your rub and then I'ma start, just give it a little sprinkle. That's all, a little sprinkle. This is optional, you can put whatever you want on there. You can leave it as it is. Bacon already has a lot of flavor. Voila, there you go. And that's all you gotta do. You can let these set for about 15 minutes, but they're ready to go on. 
I got the grill going already. And this set the temp already. Let's go outside. Let's get ready to put these on. It's already ready. All right, guys, so we're out here at the grill, and we got it ready. I'm smoking this on my Weber Summit today. And you can see I got it set at about 275, and I'm using my CyberQ to control the temp today. And basically what I did is I took some charcoal, some B&B charcoal, lit that, and then go ahead and place my gratings on and got it warmed up. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this to show you, put my glove on, and I'm going to place a piece of oak in there before I set this on. So I'll just open up this little side hatch. Some of these are a little hard to open on the side. Let me get something to open that. Excuse my fumbling around. Just need a little, a little stick or something. All right, I wish I had a little better tool that they gave you to put this in. It's a little big chunk of wood right here. Just put it in here. Get that set on that heat. Just like that. Woo! Burn myself. Gotta be careful. Okay, so after that's done, wood's in there. I know she got me getting burnt. I burnt crap out of myself a minute ago. Now, this is where the, the rack convenience comes. It's already sitting on there. Go ahead and set it on your rack, just like this, on your smoker. And that way, when it's done, all you gotta do is pull it off. We're gonna let this roll for about an hour, hour and a half. Let's go ahead and get this closed. Turn off this alarm. I know it's going low temp. And I'll let CyberQ do all the work. And I'll let the temp come up, the fan will come on. And we'll check it about 30, 45 minutes. All right, so I think these poppers are almost ready to come off. Let's just take a look under the hood and see what we got. Ooh. Look at that color. Man, that looks good. Goodness gracious. Take a repeat run. Man, oh man. I think these are ready to come off, guys. Look at that color on those. That looks so good. All right, so we're going to get these off in the house. And let's see. Let's do a taste test, guys. I bet these are going good. I got some boudin on with that. Had some crawfish yesterday. I got a little leftover, so we'll be having that for dinner tonight. So let's get them off. All right, guys, so we're at the final moment. Everything is done. Take a look at these bad boys. Look at this. Look at the color on it. The bacon stayed on pretty good. You got that cream cheese crab and boudin stuffing in there. I got me some boudin on the side. I didn't want to waste that and, re and freeze it. So. It's about to go down. I gotta taste one of these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pretty one right here. No, I don't wanna grab the pretty one. I'm gonna grab this one. <laughs> Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good, guys. Not full of food. Not too spicy at all. Good flavor. I can taste that crab meat coming through that cream cheese. Good thing is I didn't overload the cream cheese in it, so it's not overbearing. Very good. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can always see when the next videos come out and they'll let you know that. Hey guys, jalapeno poppers with crab and boudin stuffing. There it is. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time, two picks.